Any questions after today's practice? We kind of had a red zone emphasis. Um, we'll do the same again tomorrow. No, it, yes and no. Um, real quick, update on Riley. Um, he had a core muscle repair done by Myers in Philadelphia. It's going to set him back probably about four weeks. Um, kind of a sports hernia. Uh, it's, it's not too uncommon. He had that yesterday, went well. He, he'll be back here this week. And, uh, but I think all along we were looking at more of a veteran corner. We had talked about that coming out of our meetings you know, last weekend. So um, we signed Fabian yesterday, and uh, we're right at 90. So, look, he played quite a bit of snaps last year in New York. Um, he's smart, and he's one of those players, you know exactly what you're getting. I, I think there's a physicality to how he plays. He's excelled in the kicking game, but he is someone who's smart. And, uh, you know, we, we've kind of looked at him for a while now. Um, we've had a lot of good feedback from places he's been. And, uh, you know, he had a good visit. Workout was good, so. We felt good about, especially his football IQ. With Russ, you saw him travel in the red zone with a nice boot pass before. Yep. And then over here, it wasn't as clean. Do you think like two to three hours what works like that you want to see on film? Well, we're, we're in an installation pattern, right? So as we install, you know, we continue to see, you know, sometimes we're putting a play in and it doesn't really match. We may not run it if we were playing Denver's defense, but it's kind of in the installation schedule. Um, and then, you know, throughout, throughout this training camp and preseason, you begin to see some things that we're doing well. There's a, there's a few things that maybe you don't feel as comfortable about. And so you're, you're constantly building up that memory bank of, of what you're seeing and, and how we're executing it. Um, you know, it was our first, first day in the red zone. That, you know, obviously the, the trick there is you have to be good running the football. You know, we went through the, the top 10 teams last year offensively and defensively in the red zone, and, and we talked to them about, like, all the, specific, the specifics. Um, it's a pretty important uh, special situation in our game. You know, good red zone teams typically are in the playoffs. So um, I would say the emphasis was a little bit more pass-driven, not run-driven today in those two team periods. Um, because we'd already had our kind of our run periods. Um, not bad. I mean, look, um, you know, we're kind of moving the ball on our own, like per the script. And uh, we'll look at the tape. That overall, I thought pretty good. I mean, look, we got some pressure looks. Um, it was kind of back and forth. But the first red zone period at this end was a little bit higher, you know, further out, and then a little bit more in tight on the second one. Well, look, the, the challenge, obviously, is your space is limited. And so, you know, defenses do a good job of utilizing that to their advantage. You get a little bit more coverage, and um, everything happens a tick quicker. The ball's got to be precise. You don't want anything floating on you. And, and like I said earlier, you have to be pretty efficient running the ball, I think, to be, to be good in that area. Oh, you're asking me to grade today's practice? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's had. Today was a nice day. And the temperature's good. We had a good, good so crowd. On, so on second, no big whoop. Yeah, no, no, no big whoop. I, I think he's he's doing fine. Um, we've kind of got a calendar. Um, I don't know that we're working up to a full scrimmage, but. You know, all of these, like tomorrow we get into competitive two minute, two days from now, I think two minute. Um, each day, each installation has, a, has an emphasis. And today, obviously, is red zone. We're going to be back at the red zone again tomorrow. We'll walk through it tonight. And then we move on to the next one. Um, yeah, you know, the old schedule back. 10 years ago, 15 years ago, you always had a scrimmage, the Hall of Fame weekend, which would be this weekend. And that, that's kind of gone away based on the amount of practice time we're having. So um, we need, I mean, we're going to have full practices and, and 
we'll get pretty much what we're wanting to get from a period. Sometimes it may be live, but today wasn't live, but nonetheless, it was, it was physical. Yeah, nothing, nothing to report there. Okay, how, yeah. how do you look for this in film today? Um, we'll see on film. I, you know, I, I, you know, he hasn't done a lot of dropping, and so periodically in our scheme, that outside backer drops into coverage. Um, so I think there's some nuances there that he's working with, but um, he's in good shape. I've been impressed with that. So we'll see how he did on the film and, and kind of go from there. Well, again, when, when, you're, when you're in the installation phase, we're not in the, you know, the special meals phase yet where we're going to design game plans specifically. We're, we're, we're kind of getting it in. And then, you know, as we get closer to the season, look, the first easy area is third down. You know, so when we're talking about that, we're talking about first and second down within the framework of an odd front. But... Um, Obviously, you know, we know what his strengths are and, and we'll be smart enough to put him in those spots. Coach, when uh, Orianski want to bring reps out of the game? Good question. They get in tonight. They speak to our team. They go through the rule changes um, relevant to this season, and you'll see him out here tomorrow. How uh, creative can you be with the kickoffs between your own two um, Well, if you're the kicking team and you're not wanting it fair caught, then you got to keep it low and on the ground. Um, so we'll work those situations, you know, especially if there's a foul on a scoring play and you're kicking off from the 50. Um, you know, if you just kick it into the air, they're going to fair catch it and have it on the 25 and you won't realize any of your penalty yards. So I think you'll see teams be a little bit more aggressive there. Um, and then in the field, uh, a lot of it will, will be stuff we look at in practice. No, he, listen, A, it's a legal matter. Um, we've been up to speed all along, and, uh, you know, we'll just leave it at that. So um, there's been no surprises, you know, nothing that's new to us. And uh, we've cooperated, we'll continue to cooperate in, in every step that, uh, that is required. So we kind of go from there. Yeah, well, look. Coaches have a lot of concerns every night. Um, I, I think some younger guys are doing well. We'll see where Jonas is at. You know, he went down yesterday. Um, and we'll kind of go from there. But uh, until we get going in some of these live drills or preseason games, I mean, we're starting to get a better evaluation with the pads on, and, that, and that's very helpful. But um, we'll meet on personnel. We'll discuss positions that we're thinking about bringing players in, just like we did with Fabian, and uh, kind of go from there. Curious your, curious your impression of, uh, of Nick DeVito and what is the lead that you like to see in the second half? Well, look, um, we have his college coach. You know, we hired, uh, obviously, the, the, sometimes there's a, a bigger learning curve for, for guys. Um, you know, it's a production position, right? It, it, it's one in which, you know, you're – you're getting to the quarterback, you're affecting him, doesn't mean you, you have to be sacking him, and then you're holding up in the running game. So um, this will be a big training camp for him. From your perspective, how do you as a coach balance you know, day one, day two, day three, where one dude may struggle with you know, evaluating the implications? I mean, how do you balance that? Yeah, look, my experience in training camp, there, there's kind of ebbs and flows with the, the momentum. You know, there'll be periods that go to the defense or the offense, and you, you keep moving. Periodically, we have to repeat a play, or, or if it doesn't look good, repeat a period. But um, I think we're able to watch the tape and, and, and make conclusions relative to performance and evaluations, regardless of whether the play was successful or not, because there's a lot of other, 10 other people maybe are doing the right thing, and one person doesn't execute. So, um, but I think you know, it's something you look at with each play. He's had a good camp. I mean, he's got good ball skills. You see, uh, you see his speed, and he's got really good range. I think he plays well deep, and some guys have trouble with the ball deep, but he's, he's someone that I think is very comfortable. Um, 
you know, going from low to high and then vice versa. I, th I, th I think he stood out. Yeah, it, look, he's, he's the player we, we knew he was back when, you know, we had to play against him. And, you know, he's, he's certainly uh, smart. He's got real good length and uh, good ball skills. Um, he can block PATs. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing we learned from that is, is um, if you're not wearing white shoes, then tape your shoes white. <laughs> That's what we learned from that. All right, thank you.